Hey everyone, this is the first video of a new set of videos um, I'm going to be doing on investing in real estate and how to go about it. As most of you know, I normally do videos on silver, but the one video I did on um, how to get renters to buy you silver every month was my most watched and liked video. Um, that's what prompted me to go ahead and do a series of videos that draw on my expertise in the real estate market. Um, for, those of the, for those of you who don't know, um, I own and run a real estate office and a mortgage brokerage company. Um, I've been in real estate for about 10 years. I currently um, have five personal rental homes that I own and I manage another 25 for other people. I've also personally bought and flipped a little over 10 homes. Um, I will draw upon all this expertise to try to explain to you the different aspects and pitfalls to avoid when investing in real estate. As you can see here, this is my uh, list of ideas I have for the different videos I want to go over. Um, if you guys have any other ideas of videos um, I could do, or if you have a specific question I might be able to address, just let me know and I'll try to work it into one of my future videos or answer it possibly in the comments section. Um, for my first video, I wanted to address something I think that could help the most people. Even if you're not interested in real estate for investment, but just own a home to live in, um, this can help. Now. What I'm going to go over is no big secret and may be common sense to some people, but it's so important that I want to address it from the get-go. And that is saving as much money on interest payments as possible. Uh, when you invest in real estate, the largest expense will be the mortgage interest. And anything you can do to limit that expense as much as possible will go a long way for you in the future. What am I talking about is paying a little extra every month. Um, on a 30-year loan, for every little bit you pay, um, if you pay that much money every month, you will get approximately 100% return on your money. I don't know anywhere else in the markets today where you could be guaranteed close to 100% return. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but just follow me here. Let's go to um, amortization schedule, and let's just say that you have a $100,000 loan. Um, 12 payments a year, interest rate is 5% at 360, with 360 payments for 30 years. Um, your, pay, your total payment will be 536 Now, on that, only $120 is going to be going towards your principal. Um, let's say you go ahead and you want to make an extra $100 a month payments. So your payment is, you're going to start paying $636. If you pay $636, it'll knock your, pay, your payments down to 256 payments instead of 360 on that 360, which is 30 years, you're paying a total interest of $93,255 and some change. If you pay $100 extra a month, you you drop down to only 21 year, little over 21 years, and your interest is only $62,828. Now let's calculate how much that is in savings. So you go from the $93,255 to sixty two thousand eight hundred twenty eight that saves you thirty thousand four hundred twenty seven dollars in interest now to get that interest savings you've made two hundred fifty six payments and you've made an extra hundred dollar payments towards your principal so if you divide that out well how much you're saving per per payment in interest on two hundred fifty six payments you're saving yourself by paying an extra hundred dollars a month you're saving yourself a hundred and eighteen almost hundred nineteen dollars every month just in interest for the next 21 years. That's how much money that you're saving. Now you might be saying like, well, you know, my house, you know, it's $300,000. I don't have a $100,000 loan. I have a $300,000 loan. Let's be more realistic here. Well, let's let's just try that. $300,000 same interest rate, number of payments. No balloon. Let's calculate that out. Okay. So your payment is going to be 1610 total interest is going to be 700 and I mean 279,765 dollars in interest 30 years okay let's go ahead and change it to 1710 okay calculate it out it's going to be 316 payments obviously you're going to have more payments on a $300,000 house than a $100,000 house when you're only paying $100 more it's not going to pay it off as soon. Matter of fact, you're only trimming off about four years by paying $100 more because there's a lot more principal. But let's see how much you're going to be saving in interest. OK, 
Okay, you're going to go from $279,765 in interest to $240,179. You're saving yourself $39,586 in interest. Okay, you're making 316 payments to get that savings and look at that. You actually save even more money. You're saving $125 on interest for every $100 you make per month more. Um, I don't know where else in this market that you can get that kind of return on your money. And you're invest basically investing in something you already own, just you're trying to limit how much the money the bank has taken from you to have that loan. Um, I know there's people out there like, well, my interest rate is 4% or, you know, 4.5%. Well, it still works. You might not get quite as much in savings, but you still get a lot. Let's just say it's 4%. Let's say it's on the lower end of 4% for a 30-year loan. Let's see, let's see what your payments would be. Okay, your payment would be 1432 Let's knock this up to 1532 and see how we do on a 4% loan. Okay, once again, you're still at 318 payments, but you're shav saving about three and a half years. But let's see how much you're saving in interest overall. So you go from $215,610 to $187,032. You're saving yourself $28,578 total in interest. Over 318 months, you're saving yourself almost $90. So you're still at a 90% return on your money even at the low end of 4%. So anyways guys, I just wanted to give you guys these numbers and actually see them in 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 reality here. Um I know a lot of people say, "Oh, you can pay your mortgage off really fast if you, you know, make a little bit extra every month." Well, people don't realize how much that equates to and it it, it can add up quick. So, hope you guys uh, like the video and I will have some more coming. Um and if you guys have any, like I said, if you have any additional questions, just comment below. I will uh, answer everything I can. And if I can't, I'll go ahead and um, do an, possibly add some additional videos to my list of 10 that I want to do. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put a link um, of this amortization calculator um, down below. So you guys can like plug in your real numbers so you can figure out. Um, what kind of savings that you can get I mean, and you don't have to use this one this is just the one that I found that I use anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully it helps you save some money see you next time